Oh, hello everybody, and welcome to today's tutorial, which is uh, th three. There's three of them, and then one class. That's how awesome we're going to be today, and they are uh, baby cobra, cobra, and updog. She's right. Okay. <laughs> to today's tutorial. Um, Jay McMahon, I will be instructing these wonderful ladies, Michaela and Francis. We're going to do, uh, as Michaela mentioned at the beginning, of the, what we call the trifecta. I kind of wanted to sort some stuff out about Cobra, Baby Cobra, and Updog that I see oftentimes in classes that I instruct. Um, the purposes of each and what I like to see out of each. So, at the beginning of every class, we're going to just take a moment just to find our breath and connect to our breath. If this is the first tutorial you watch, you probably see them on the other tutorials as well. It's just really important to bring your body, your mind, your attention to your mat if you're going to practice. This helps us to avoid injuries and to really get the most out of a practice. It doesn't have to be a tremendously long practice to be, uh, you know, building heat and sweat and strength uh, and meditative and moving meditations. So, to do that, let's connect with the breath to just kind of wind down a little bit. So today we're just going to bring our hands to our knees, sit in a seated pose, or you can stay in the back. You see Francis is in the hero's pose. That's also good, just a place where you're the most comfortable. And wherever you are, just drop the shoulders down. And just check in and see if there's any tightness in your jaw or maybe your eyes are kind of clenched a little bit. Clenched? Maybe your eyes are squinting. <laughs> Can you clench your eyes, Francis? Kind of. Yeah, it's, it's, it's just clenched. What am I clenching now? My eyes are my ass. You can't tell. <laughs> <laughs> well, well you know, both, I would think. <laughs> Knowing you. Yeah, I <laughs> know you. Yeah. That's a really hard class. You clench your eyes and your ass. <laughs> I don't know where we even up. We're going to take a few breaths anyway. So sit tall, sit comfortably, bring your attention to your body, to how you're feeling. Notice any areas that feel tight. Wherever you're at, you might feel tightness in an area maybe you didn't expect it. Just take a few breaths, focusing just on the inhale, I am inhaling. So with these next three postures that we're going to work on, what I've found in yoga is uh, I do, do, do love yoga. I love all the things about it. I'm certainly not a traditional kind of yoga guy in any way in, in how I am or the type of the streams of yoga that I practice. Many different things fuel my classes. But one thing I, I did when I was working out with weights is I always, you know, you have to work your back. You have to be balanced. And yoga is a lot about balance, right? And I always found that... Um, I didn't feel like I was working my back enough in yoga. I didn't really understand what was happening in my back. So there's some things that we can do to really try to get the back. We do lots of push-ups, chaturangas, lots of shoulder stuff, but the back, I don't want to neglect the back at all. So the things that we're going to do now are specifically for the back, and then there's, there'll be other benefits to that. So we're going to begin on the belly. So come to your belly, please, Michaela. So again, this is a tutorial, so we'll show you how she can get into there, into this from another posture. But for the most part, this is where we might be in a class when we start on our bellies. I want you to look at Michaela, where her elbows are. Her wrists are directly beneath her elbows. Now bring your hands forward, Michaela. Good. Many, many times you'll think that this is cobra. This is where we're going to set up for cobra. And this for what we're going to start with, which is baby cobra, we need the hands back. So bring the hands back. Good. Now, she's going to press into the tops of her feet. 
And as she inhales, she's going to gently press into her hands, but more so roll her elbows back towards her hips. Inhaling. Good. Good. Press into the thighs. Now pull the elbows together. Together. Now lift your hands up just an inch off the floor. Your gaze is just towards the top of your mat. You don't want to be having your neck too pinched. Good. Now, ideally, what I want to feel when I do baby cobras and what I present in my classes, I want all the big muscles that are located all the way down your back into your lower back to be active and firing. Are you feeling that? Mm -hmm. Good. That's what we want. And now come down with an exhale. Good. So when we're practicing, we want to work the back more. We can do, in my classes, we'll do five of these. Easy. Just five. Just to really work on the back muscles. So let's do that again. Inhale, lift. Pull the elbows together. Good. Let's press into the tops of the feet and come down. Good. We want to continue to press into the tops of the feet. Don't let the feet come off the floor. Uh, press, press, press. Let's do that again, Michaela. Inhale, come up. Good. The gaze is soft, so she's actually got a good angle on the neck. Sometimes people look up a little higher, Michaela. We pinch, right? That gaze is too tight, and we don't want to cause anything uh, pinching in the neck. So think of the spine being long and gentle. Good. Come on down. Baby Cobra. That's Baby Cobra. And there may be other names for it, but in, around my parts, we call that Baby Cobra. Full Cobra is different. Full Cobra, I find, is uh, pretty intense and doesn't really work too much strength in the back, but it does stretch the core pretty good. So, we're going to have Michaela keep her hands here. I'm going to have her try to straighten her arms, her arms, but not lift her hips off the floor. So, from here, Good. So really, so her hips come off the floor, which is okay. Her legs are on the ground, and her feet are pressing onto the ground. Great core stretch, right guys? Great yes. core stretch. But there's a lot of pressure directly down from the shoulders into the wrist. So we're stretching, and I find it's quite a bit of an impingement on the lower back. Um, if you can do this with no pain, then why are you doing it? If you're not feeling anything, why do you do it? But it's an option. You can do this if you like that sort of feeling. Now slowly lower down, pull the elbows back, bring the belly to the floor. That's perfect. So her hands are in a really good spot. Actually, your hands even move forward a little bit there, eh? Yeah. yeah. When you straighten your arms, it kind of uh, it changes things. It changes the foundation and alignment of things. That's tough, eh, Francis? Put yeah. the hand back that Oh, it is very tough, yeah. Okay, now up dog. Up dog is uh, one of my faves, obviously. We kind of get the best of, of all the worlds. It's a, a very active posture for the whole front body. So watch what happens. Michaela's going to push into the tops of, of her feet. She's going to straighten her arms, lift the body up. Now if you look, her hips are off the floor. Her hips are not touching the floor. Her knees are off the floor. She's really pushing hard. Now. Retract the shoulder blades and pull your hips forward as much as you can. Good. A gentle look up, and we want to pull the shoulder blades together. Now, we're stretching the core. We're working some back. We're working the shoulders because we're pushing the ground away. We're really coming through strong. Good. Now, as you exhale, you can come all the way back down to the floor, lower the hips, pull the elbows back, and lower yourself down. Three great exercises. There's no doubt about it. Wouldn't you say, guys? Oh, yeah. Baby cobra. I'll throw in a baby cobra. I'll throw in an up dog. Baby cobras will slow down the flow of your class because you have to focus on flexing those muscles. An up dog can be done slightly quicker while we're flowing. And um, it's a little easier to do moving with the breath if that's what you're going for. In my classes, we do a lot of strength stuff, so we'll do, we'll do specifically back work to make sure everything's balanced. Um, because we do a lot of chest work. Too. <laughs> we do a lot of, yeah. we do a lot of pushing work in shoulders. general. <laughs> just work in general. We do crazy things, so make sure you join us. Uh, let's just do that one more time, guys. Let's just review one more time just to summarize. So Baby Cobra, great place to start just to kind of time everything with your breath. You might feel some pressure on the abs. So look, her elbows stacked right above the wrists. Inhale, pull the elbows back. Good. You're pulling them back and down towards the hips here. Good, good, good. Hold here. Lift the hands up and see what, and if you can do this, uh, 
and, and you're feeling it here, you're doing great. Just gently put your hands on the floor. Don't push into your hands, you're negating the whole strength there. And come down. Now let's move to Cobra. If you want to try Cobra, if you're loose, warm, and there's no pain or pinching, keep the hips pressed down the best that you can. Try to straighten your arms. Might not always get straight. Good. Push the ground away. Let the core stretch. So now all oh, that front body is stretching. Be careful of the lower back. Okay, come on down. Good. And let's do the last one, which is up dog. The whole front body is off the floor the best that you can. Pressing into the tops of the feet. Push up. Now drag the hips forward. Pull them forward. Mats are sticky, and they won't allow you to do this. Retract the shoulder blades. We're still working the muscles on the back. We're still flexing and stretching the core. The kneecaps lift, so the legs are working. The ankles are working and strengthening. We're pushing the ground away. It's a beautiful, beautiful exercise. And I know these guys want to hold it for longer, you know, and uh, let's come on down. Good. Excellent. Good. Awesome. So let's have a seat. Ooh. Oh, that's like, yeah, it's tough work. Yeah, you can feel it on the back. You can definitely feel it. Yeah. This, um, yeah. go back to Francis. Yeah. Sorry, I don't want to block your neck. So, in a class, for example, with the Sun Salutation 8, they'll give you an option of maybe an up dog, baby cobra, cobra. Be careful what you're doing. If you can do a cobra and you don't feel it, so you're bent in half, you're bent back, and you're just, you're just pressing into your arms, I think it's a good idea to think about what you're really trying to get out of that. If you're not feeling a stretch in your core, your back is bent, I'm not really sure why. It looks cool, okay? it's cool that you're that bendy. But I don't know if that's totally not. Why not just press into the tops of the feet, lift the knees, and really drag those hips through to get a really good active workout. Or baby cobra. Maybe, you know, that baby cobra, you know, we do a lot of work on the computers and texting and our backs are round. They're like, we don't have those trap muscles to pull, retract the shoulders. Baby cobra works that. That is exactly where we want to work. And it, it doesn't, you don't need weights. You don't need lots of it. With effort, you, you just have to make sure it happens and do the best you can. So, and then when you're in a baby cobra, for example, you want to remember to breathe. Whatever that is, just try to find the calmness in your breath because they're hard. Up dog is tough. Try to find a breath, try to find the ease of breath. And the stronger you get, the easy it will be to take nice, deep, calm breaths. And that just comes with progression and practice, yeah. is all that that is, hey? Yeah. Right? Right? Yes. 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 She knows because I worked a lot with Francis and their strength has just gone right up and even when she remembers to breathe, it's it's amazing. It's amazing. She passes out sometimes, but no, she's not. She's not. She's not. She's not. So that's the trifecta effect of those three. So when you're in a class, you're doing a class, listen to what they're saying, those teachers are saying, and see what fits for you and what you want. If you feel like you gotta work your back more, do the baby cobra come back or do the up dog or do the cool part. just just know the difference between the three I think it gets confusing in class yeah. especially if it's a big class and you're you're looking at everybody else and you know that's what these tutorials are for just to help you out but you end up deciding based on your body your style of yoga that you want to do and what you want out of the class and we're just here to help with that so until next time my friends this is Michaela that's Francis I'm Jay and we will see you next time peace that was good. That was that was, that was really easy. good. That was I knew it was quick. Yeah, that was quick. Yeah. I I almost wanted to do like a. Like a I was just gonna say like a.